All right, you guys, today we'll take a look how to stretch pixels using polar coordinates here in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this image size. And let's go and drag and drop the layer into the plus to create a duplicate. Make sure that you're on the top layer. And let's go to the taskbar and click on remove background. Right click on the top layer, convert a smart object. And let's go to the rectangle marquee tool, long click and select the single row marquee tool. And I'm going to go to the model. I'm going to long click and drag. And I'm going to select a specific area like this one. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. As you can see, it created this line. I'm going to press Ctrl T on it. Press and hold Alt and drag the line upwards. I'm going to press and hold Shift, rotate it, a double click release. And it looks something like this. I'm going to press Ctrl T and I'm going to just stretch it out all the way like so. Double click, rename the layer, pixel stretch and right click on it. Convert a smart object. And from here, we're going to go to the filter, distort and select polar coordinates. And you're gonna to need to select the rectangular to polar. You also can click on the minus here so you can see how it's gonna look. Click OK. And as you can see, it does look oval. So now if you press Ctrl T to stretch it out, you can see it is going to show the pixel stretch. So I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna to go to the layer again with the polar coordinate and I'm gonna right click again and convert to smart object again. And now I can press Ctrl T and I can stretch it however I want. Now I'm going to bring it under the model in between the two layers and I can upscale it and arrange it and you can distort it however you like. I think this is pretty good. I'm going to double click on it and I want to remove the upper part. So make sure that you're on the pixel stretch layer and let's add a mask and I'm going to select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the black. I'm going to scale it up and start removing the upper part. And now but least, I also want to add some shadows on it. So let's select the top layer with the model. Press Ctrl J to duplicate. And I'm going to select the second layer with the model. Double click on it. And let's select drop shadow. And I'm going to align it to the top. You can add here 90 degrees. Set the opacity. I went with normal. I'm going to decrease the size, increase the distance. And adjust the opacity a little bit more. I think this is good. Click OK. And I'm going to need to remove some of the shadings that is also shown on the white background. So let's go and right click on the layer with the drop shadow, convert a smart object again. And I'm going to mask it. Let's select the brush tool and I'm going to go and just remove the unnecessary shading. And there you go. This is one of the ways how you can use the polar coordinate tool here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.